I look around and I see so many uh, evils and, and distortions in the world and in the economies of the world, people's actions, and I see it all tying back to the ability of central banks to issue value without giving anything in return and then people being able to take that and spend it just like the rest of the people in the world who have to work hard for it. And I could go through a string of different uh, examples here. Actually, I will. Um, the rising cost of food, the rising cost of uh, energy, the rising rents and real estate, the rising healthcare costs, the rising education costs, higher taxes, Even, even, uh, even immigration, you can tie it back to the distortions of currencies which make it more profitable for someone to send their child away to try to find a better life in another country. The distortions that are going on in, in between uh, even the US and China, how, how is it that so many jobs went to China and why are they, some of them starting to come back? Well, it's been a distortion of the currency that has made it profitable for companies to move overseas. Uh, and I know a lot of unions, a lot of uh, political pundits, they do not talk about this. They talk about, oh, you know, uh, the working man. They talk about unions and they talk about uh, how they're these evil multinational corporations. Yeah, there are, that, that factor is there as well. But they often dismiss and don't talk about the, the separation of the connection of gold and the dollar back in the 70s and what that led to and the distortions that it created. It allowed for uh, the Americans to use their, their assets and their inflated assets as the currency became inflated, the assets went up with it and then use the value of those, extract the value of those to buy goods from China. And, and, uh, and, and now China's got a massive amount of gold and they're taking it from Europe and the United States and the rest of the world. Not that that's bad, they've worked hard for it. But it's done, been done on the back of the devaluating currency and people say, oh, you know, what, what can we do? Can we hit them with sanctions? Can we, you know, or, or what, you know, what can our union do? Look back at the connection between gold and silver and money. Tell me if I'm wrong. And the worst of all of these is the loss of not just treasure, but the blood that has been shed based on this debt and the ability of central banks to finance governments by printing up money. There is no way that the wars and the death that has happened would have happened if the citizens of the world's nations had to actually pay for the wars in their present terms, if they had to pay in their present currency from their present income. But because they can put it off on the, on the deficit and, and just rack up a bill that future generations may or may not pay, then it make, the, the connection is lost. People don't understand how much it's costing them. But if they did, if they realized how much money they, it would take how much of their week working, their economic energy, would go towards paying for those wars. They would rise up immediately and tell their politicians to not engage in war, to not engage in, in spending uh, on weapons of war and sending their children off to die. So it's a lot more, it's, it's a bigger picture than just, you know, getting an asset out of you know the credit system there is a massive positive social change that will happen when the inevitable return of gold and silver happens and it will act as a discipline to these governments that want to engage in uh, death and destruction around the world because their citizens will be paying the costs